afternoon, evening. Everyone, I'm Stella and this is Taryn. We are from Maple University and we are back from Bali to cold Melbourne, Australia and we are going to Japan. Well, in almost. Game in game from from Bali to Yosemite to Japan. So we are playing Let's Go to Japan. This game is on Kickstarter right now fully well and truly funded by AEG, who is also providing the giveaway. Right, Taryn? Indeed. So if you want to know the countries, they are limited countries, but uh, it's it's quite wide, but then it accepts certain countries. Have a look in the video description to see if you are included. Indeed. So this is basically a drafting game and you score at the end, pretty much at the end of the game. And then you have to tell the story of how your day, well, your week went in Japan and Kyoto. Yes. And hello, everybody. Everybody, how are you doing? Hopefully you are well. I've been blabbering. I just realized that Taryn has only been saying three words. How are you, Taryn? Good. <laughs> That's four words. <coughs> yes. Cold? No, even I'm a little cold. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> like uh, I've got checkered now. Obviously, the uh, transition back from uh, sunny, Bali. humid Bali to uh, Melbourne is a little bit jarring. And we seem to be in an early autumn already. So. I don't remember Melbourne being this cold. If you are in Australia, if you are in Melbourne especially, it's like <coughs> I left... Melbourne when it was quite hot-ish and then now I'm back in Melbourne and all of a sudden it's cold. What's going on there? Yeah, it has been a very cold summer so mm. it's not surprising that we're uh, going into a pretty early winter. So again, welcome everybody whether you watch it live or not. I'm going to look at the chat now. Very exciting things going on in the chat. Tuan, Koralu, Tai, Kim, Bryce, Sabawan, uh, Steph the Little. Uh, UK clocks went forward last weekend. So back to being late on here. Oh, sorry. And thank you for joining mm. us, Steph. Really appreciate and the it. Clock, and the clocks went back for us last night. That's well. correct. So we That's got, why. We got an extra hour of sleep, which helps us with our jet lag. Um, but <laughs> yeah. does, yeah. So two hours difference. Two hours different in Bali. Two hours, but three hours. Two hours now. Two it hours used now. To, uh, it used to be three hours now, two hours. We have been streaming a little bit later in preparation of... This? No, not really, because I couldn't wake up at 5 a.m. in Bali. <laughs> oh, I mean, I couldn't stream at 6 a.m. So, I mean, I have to wake up at least 4.30. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys, but I, I do also it. love my sleep as well. So, we are here. How exciting. Seeing everyone again. Uh, where are we up to? Claire, I've got that. Anime guitar, uh, anime guitar lessons from the start. Woo, well done. Hannah S. Hello, Rini. Uh, Ryan, Derek, Tammy's. I've got Kelly, I'm really interested in this game. Burning out. Hopefully you don't burn out too much. Hopefully it's a good burnout. And Derek, hello. Uh, hello. Hi, Taryn, everyone joining us. Glad you make it on time. Um, Meto, 1986. Yes. Ooh, ooh, 1 a.m. You're so good. Look, this is like, this is always what I say to everyone. We really, really thank you for every single comment, every single like, every single views in our channel in our youtube because that will really help us and that really motivates us to do more videos indeed so let's see so we continue benzene here carrie richard sang here i saw um richard just commented from the start aaron lisa uh, your stream happened last month now it's 1 a.m oh no chip ship game from uh twitch hello lonely hello from twitch this is a multi stream from uh to twitch youtube and facebook so what we're going to do today, I am not lazy by the way, despite of me coming from holiday and still on holiday mood, we will be playing this. But before we will do an overview of the game, we play a full game of Let's Go to Japan. Um, we do have my Showman Sweet video as well on the channel, so check that out if you like. And then we are going to give you the password to enter the giveaway. Guess what it is, Taryn? Don't say it yet. Karen knows. That's not fair. And uh, we will announce one lucky winner at the end of this video who will receive a pledge of uh, this game when the game is fulfilled. So the type of pledge is also on the, on the video description. Yes. So let's start with an overview, shall we, while I get myself distracted to the chat again. Indeed. 
<clears throat> so the general gameplay of this game is a simple card draft. Uh, this board tells us how we're going to draft. So uh, this is probably a little small, actually. Let Let's put it the side. To the side camera. So uh, we will play over 13 rounds. In round one, uh, we will draw two cards, one from the Tokyo deck and one from the Kyoto deck. We'll play one and pass one to our opponent. Uh, to the left initially, but of course at two players that doesn't matter. Same thing will happen in rounds two, three, and four. In round five, we'll pick up the four cards that we've been passed. Play two of them and pass two of them. Then we'll draw two from each deck, play two and pass two, and so on. If we're playing with more than two players, this is where we change drafting directions. And we keep going through until we have played 13 rounds. Uh, which corresponds to 18 cards. Every time we draw a card, oh, sorry, every time we play a card, we're going to put a face up into our itinerary. So we are planning six days in Japan. Uh, there'll be three cards in each day by the time we're done. And you'll be adding them. You don't have to add them top to bottom, uh, but you have to, you have to see, you can't, completely resequence them every time. Basically, when you get it, you have to uh, slot Slide it in. It, yeah. Slot it into to something. Um, what we're trying to do is ultimately, as I uh, grab a few of these points, there's a whole lot of icon matching we can do. So each of these cards has icons and scores up the top. So when you... Uh, when we eventually resolve it, because we're going to resolve our itineraries, scoring is quite long in this game. It's a big part of the game. We'll be scoring our itineraries from Monday through to Saturday. And when you score it, you'll gain the points shown in the top left, or top right, the icons shown in the top left. So there are five different icons which will advance these markers along your board towards the points. And there's also uh, some left and right arrows, green arrows to the right, red arrows to the left. Uh, those represent different types of stress or comfort, and that will move your mood track. And when the mood track reaches one of the ends, it will advance on its scoring track. So all of these things will score. Once you get down to the third card on each day, there is an objective that you're trying to meet. And if you've met that objective based on everything that you've done up to that point, then you score the extra points for that. These will, of course, get a bit easier to... Most of them will get easier to resolve as you go through the days because they require having certain icons, but some require having no icons. So you would want to push them towards the left. Uh, there's a few other things that you'll be trying to match. So each day has a theme. And it's the same theme for each day. So on uh, Monday, we're going to go big on food. On Tuesday, we want to do uh, cheap and low stress things because we'll have a food coma after day one. <laughs> then we're going shopping on Wednesday. We're going to check out the temples on Thursday because we feel bad about doing too much commercial stuff on Wednesday. Paid pay a lot of money. And then we do all our unique stuff on Saturday when the crowds are... Uh, Whatever. And, and this was? <clears throat> and this is um, nature, I think. Yeah. I skipped over it because I'd yep. forgotten. And then you forced <laughs> me to go back. And look Sorry, Tara. So <clears throat> these are basically the same for each player, but these are placed randomly at the start of the game. Yes. So when you match that icon to that day, uh, when the day is full, you gain a bonus from the top of the board here. And this could, if you get one match, you'll increase mm -hmm. your mood. All the way up to if you get three matches, you can uh, get some train tickets or do some extra walks. That's the bullet train for you. Yep. So through the through the game, uh, there are Kyoto cards and there are Tokyo cards. And there are a few in there which are yellow, which while they come from one of the decks, they can represent either city. They're generic things like going to a park or something uh, along those lines. Every time you change city across the 18 cards... Uh, you have to take the train. And if you've been collecting bullet train tickets, uh, you'll get comfort and points for that. If not, you're going to have to place uh, nasty rattler trains, which are worth negative points. There's a four-point swing on each train, 
based on whether you have collected that token or not. Um, there's a few other things you can do. If you don't like the card you play, then you can uh, play a card on its face downside, which is called go for a walk. Uh, that will give you a bonus research token, which uh, is worth either a point or the chance to draw and discard some extra cards. Uh, or when you go for a walk, as we'll see when we do our journey, uh, you can randomly stumble upon something cool. So you can flip the card over not knowing what it is, not knowing what icons are going to match, and then score whatever comes up uh, at the risk of it being something that doesn't match with your objectives. Uh, there's a few other things. There's wild tokens, which you can use to advance on these tracks in a uh, random way. Um, but the main thing, and then you tell the story of your trip at the end of the game. Well, yes. that's not really in the, in the rule book, but I'd like to do that because it's fun. So stay tuned at the end of the game. Not only we will draw a winner, also, we'll share our adventure in Japan. I was just looking at the chat when you were explaining this, Taryn, and I was going to laugh because it was like, it's hilarious. Um, so, hello to Rich. Uh, yes, Pursue of Happiness. Yeah, it's been a while since we played that. And Susan, hello. Coralu, wait, you only eat on Mondays on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Have you not been to a... Uh hotel and had the buffet and really overdone the buffet on Monday <laughs> and then you don't have to eat for the rest of the week. It sounds like a personal sharing story, Tara. Very recent one. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? You went to work training? Um, <clears throat> it had been a while since I'd been in a hotel with a buffet. So, yeah, uh, food intake uh, peaked on Monday and declined <laughs> to a more sensible amount by the end of the week. It's more like the whole week for you. No, I, I realised that I'm eating way too much. And that's sensible. Okay, so Aaron, I just woke up from a food coma. <laughs> that's more like it. Mary Mama Bear, hello. Welcome back. And the Wolf 17. Uh, everyone, glad to be watching live the gameplay again. We're so excited. You here at Lillian eating out, you can buy food at the basement of grocery stores. <laughs> yeah. James, um, I was thinking of doing April Fool something, but I couldn't think of anything funny nor smart, so I'm just going to leave it at that. We didn't even have time to do any April Fool, although I want to ask your very opinions. We are going to do comedy content small com uh maybe like i uh, know like that video when we did on um on christmas the last one uh but not singing maybe singing maybe not um something comedy maybe wearing costume maybe not what do you think of that is it something that you would like a sport game board game related of course and it will be something that is um maybe written by yours and truly karen i really must <laughs> You must wait till you're out and remove that camera. <laughs> That's it. So please let us know in the comments what you think of that. Is that something you want to watch or is there anything that you want to watch more or less? Please let me know. Uh, continue with the lovely people in the chat. I've got uh, Rachel. Hello, I can't say long. That's okay. Thank you for saying hello, Rachel. Hopefully we'll see you again soon in Melbourne. Everyone should try some new food. Uh, did they purchase the RL pieces, uh, passes? <laughs> did we? Uh, all right, that's a go. That's question. How long does it take Taren to learn the rules of a game on average? Good question. I cheat in that I look at YouTube how to play slow. Really depends on the game, I suppose. How about this one? <clears throat> this one probably took... It went that many. It probably took me, what, 45, 60 minutes to be ready for a... Um, Ditch, muck playthrough like the Stella how to play but it was a very uh but then it took that whole play to learn how to actually teach it all right, all right it all depends on the game the more complex game what would be one complex game yet that you can remember spending most time it's probably okay the one that is not prototype still because prototype rule book is not really complete 
at times. So can't really judge the game by the prototype rule book. The ones that, the ones that always take me the longest are the um, skirmish, the skirmish grid movement games with complex um, combat rules. Yeah. So yeah, you know, anything on the Gloomhaven side of things, especially yeah. one with that that has a long story component to it. Yeah, yeah. Um, because that's just every single game's different, and then the sometimes the moves are quite specific as well. Yeah, you get very used to the sorts of rules, but I would they're say, all different yeah. in every game. I would like to add Hegemony. It's the latest one that took you so long to learn the rules because every single role is asymmetric. Yeah, and of course, uh, Oath. and I never learned Root, actually. Root was taught to us, but... Uh, but you... um. But Oath was a long one. Yeah. There you go. Hopefully that answers your questions. That's a, a long answer to your short question. Uh, Japan has more bucket list for 15 years. Well, that's you, sh you should really go, Hannah. I remember seeing you at Essen, right? Well, you should go. You should be exploring Japan. I think you'll be happy there, I think. Uh, well, love your shirt, Stella. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> yes, we like to see comedy. Thank you. Hotel cafe with bad Wi-Fi buffering buffet. <laughs> David, hello, David. Uh, looking forward to this. All right, we're going to share you soon the, um, the giveaway. Yes. How to enter the giveaway. Now, you remember what countries? I do not. I was about to look and then I was uh, distracted to some other part of setup. Okay. I'll, I'm just quickly uh, going through this. Uh, Rene wants to cruise Belgium, Norway. You can eat a whole day from the cruise. Oh, my gosh. Cruise is the worst because you can eat all day for free. Yeah. But... I won't go on cruise again, not because of that, but because I get motion sickness, which is very sad. I can't go to Dice Tower cruise and such. Uh, this hour change is killing me. Sorry. Uh, which, funny stuff. Yes. Uh, thank you. And hello, Chrissy. Welcome back. Long time no see for sure. I'm excited for this game. Uh, I love your funny videos. Yes. A couple of hours. Feel confident. And excellent rules explanation. Thank you so much, Mike. Yes. I think right now there's somebody talking about which rules video you like. Um, and Solomon has been kindly enough to put our name. So Taryn, Maple University, Stella, Maple University. I'm like, don't pick me, please. Just put, pick Taryn. Um, <laughs> if you want to vote, please do that. We'll really appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Coralou's comment about our uh, comedy stylings. What? Which one? The clown and the straight man. <laughs> Stella and... <laughs> Turn come yes, a dry <laughs> joke. That's awesome. Thank you, Korolu, for bringing up the details of the giveaway. That is it. That is sushi. And hence, we're back to the chat bubble. Sushi. Yes. All in capital. Yep. So head to me. You know that. You know, yeah. <laughs> head to the website, mm -hmm. dot com slash giveaway and enter the password, which is sushi in mm -hmm. all caps, and then enter your details there. We've been babbling a lot this time. And we will uh, randomly select one winner at the end with thanks to AEG, who will win a festival deluxe pl pledge yep. for the game, which means you'll receive it when the game is fulfilled. And uh, uh, the list of countries, uh, US, Canada, UK, EU, Norway, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, China, Hong Kong, Japan, Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan, Australia, and New Zealand. Did you memorize all that? No, I read Coralie's comment. Thank you. <laughs> How, what happened if it's you? We we definitely and clearly trust Carol Coralie. <laughs> Heavily reliant. Heavily reliant. Thank you, Coralie. Yes. Um, and I assume Coralie is copying and pasting. It's not the whole copying and paste. It's modified a little bit. So thank you so much, Coralie, for doing that. Uh, thank you, Rich G. Party people, happy Saturday. Morning, daylight saving. I know, Jenny, I just don't let me start ranting on daylight savings. Okay, we bamble. Uh, we ramble a little bit, bamble. <laughs> What's bamble? This we has been a long intro. Today, yes. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's get just start. Going. Okay, we're going to start playing while we're still chatting because I feel like there's a lot that I want to catch up with you guys. All right. All right. Let's get to it. Yep. Oh, no. That's not that. <laughs> All right, so the first uh, the first round is we get one card from each. Oh, sorry, I forgot oh, one yes. thing. So we are playing with the uh, passport module, mm -hmm. which is a deck of I think it's eighteen uh, 
little personal asymmetrical powers that you can pick from. So you each deal two uh, and keep one and we reveal it at the start of the game. Mm. So uh, we have uh, we have done this. I'm going to play that one. This one. So this is mine, the o Otaku. It's one of the more advanced ones, which has uh, this icon here. At the end of the game, your experience track scores 13 instead of 8 and 22 instead of 12 or 15. So that means every token that I get to the uh, 7, 8 or 9 space will be worth 15 points for me instead Ooh. of 8. And if I can get to space 10, it will be worth 22 instead of uh, 12 or 15. So I am essentially uh, trying to specialise. And thank you, new subscribers. Welcome to the family and the University of Meeple. <laughs> and me. Now, I need to help. This is still prototype, obviously, but I can't understand what it means at the top. What does that mean? Anyone can speak Japanese, whether you watch it live or not, or like if you want to comment later, please let me know. But my power is that each of these, what is it, special... It's the uh, unique, unique experience, experience for the blue icon. With me extra one point. And it also lifts up my mood even more. Yes. So, uh, yep. Stella will be trying to specialize in that, which means I'll be trying to keep them away mm -hmm. from Stella, but I'm also trying to specialize. So. Hello, Kyra. Welcome. Thank you for checking our video and commenting on our video. I've seen your comments a lot. So, I really thank you for that. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Begin. Yay. So we've got one card from each deck. We do indeed. First one. Rachel, you can use one of those apps to translate with your camera. That's actually a great idea. I haven't thought of that. Thank you. I think I've just downloaded Google Translate. I don't know. That's actually probably different. Uh, all right. I have to choose my thing. I couldn't really see Terrence's card, really. Ooh. Look at this. This is like... This is so real. It's reminiscing of my trip to Japan so much. It's been many, many years. It was with my friend and Taryn wasn't there, unfortunately. So we have to go together, Taryn. Well, it's food. So I visit, I plan to visit a rescue cat, cat cafe. And I am planning to go to the... To go to a shrine. All right. A uh, nature, nature shrine. All right. Ooh. We're a thirteenth of the way through. What is this? Oh, this is the one that I got. That picked. is the one you Thank did you. <clears throat> Oops. There's a. Uh, Oops. Tokyo card loose All in right. there. That's the. Hmm. Uh, what am I doing? Okay. Right. So you put your plan on Friday first. Otagi Nenbutsuji Temple for Tokyo Metropolitan Government. Oh, I should probably say it because then Taran was like, ooh, that's what I'm going to do. I think it's just like expensive. But this is a pretty good point. But I don't know if I'm going to score it because it might be covered. It's not expensive, it's mm -hmm. cheap. Oh, sorry, it's cheap. Sorry, yes, yes. Yeah, I'll go and do this. I think it's fun. All right. Next. You're going to the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. Yeah. You think it's fun. It's cheap. It's the most boring sounding. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh, hang on. Yeah, no, that's okay. I'll put it there. Ready? Okay. And this is pretty really quick. So this is a rapid draft thing until the end, and then you will see. Uh, David Stella needs a player power kawaii. What's kawaii? It's a uh, Japanese cute culture. Oh, um, what did I miss? Love it's good solo mode. Late to the party, but interested so far. Hey, Miss Tickles, the cat cafe. Uh, what's this? The Stone Myers pet video today, Mr. Tickles. Oh, that must be a, a April's full. Jamie's, Jamie's usually do a, a April Fool's stuff. Am I right? I think it is. Yes, Carolo is right about the designer Josh Wood. Hello, Tamara. Welcome. I really need to pick this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry. I'm like, hmm. Mm. Mm. Well. 
Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just. Well, I should probably wait until Karen do it. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Chrissy. Mm, I'm going to try to say it. Please don't judge me. I don't speak Jap uh, Japanese usually. Terapara na ryokosha. Well spoken, Frafola. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for um, translating it for us. Fluent. It was Jamie's April Fool video. Yeah, I knew it. That was fun. Uh, I'll get to check it out. I get to check it out. So it's basically the uh, modern equivalent of dogs playing poker. Oh, okay. One more draft like that. Yes, I'm uh, planning the end of my week very heavily so far. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm, as well. Who we'll shuffle this? <laughs> you know what? I think. Is it time to go for a walk? That's the question. Yeah, that's the thing though. If you don't like what you see here, you just like flip it. I don't know, it's kind of okay, but it's not ideal. That's all right, I'll uh, go there. Okay, I'll go there. Do I want to go there or go there? Yeah, I'll go there. Whoop. All right. I'm, uh, I'm dining at a top restaurant for this one. So. That's pretty much the first four rounds done. We have another... Nine to go. Nine to go. That was quick. Indeed. So no one's filled up a day yet. So mm. we'll... Because, um, again, most of most of what happens here is going to resolve at the end of the, uh, the, end of the game. Yeah. It's kind of a plan and then... So, all right, so round five, we're going to pick up the four cards that the opponent did not like. Mm -hmm. And we're going to play two of them and then pass the other two back. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Ooh, we're going to pick this one. Surely. Surely, surely, surely. Ooh. I think I've got to take that one. And, uh, hmm. uh, um, it's a shame his trip was cancelled, but so nice that has come from him not having the trip, which he can hopefully do in the future. Yes, Devil Dogs, correct. Devil Dogs 8. Yeah. Uh, yes, he already had his trip booked when I saw his live stream a while ago. He started it was a few weeks ago. Oh, thanks. Thanks for that. Great informations. Uh, I met Josh in one of the conventions. I think it was maybe Gen Con, one of the Gen Cons. And yes, uh, um, we've been a fan of him for Tiny Town. And what's this other game? Is it Cat Lady was as well? Josh Cat Lady? And I think it might have been because I've seen... Okay. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure I've seen Cat Lady mentioned on a post about this people game. in the chat will confirm or deny <laughs> uh hello bahar and christine from queensland i think queensland doesn't have daylight savings no they uh, too worried about the curtains <laughs> tarot i think i know what i want i know what i want i just don't know what order to put them in <laughs> Now I'm, I regret <laughs> planning this uh, Tokyo visit on Meiji Jingu Friday Shrine because now okay. I've because of course the other thing to manage here is yeah. You know, Once you finish, I got a quick question for you. Or oh, whenever you're ready. Mm. I don't want to break town's concentration. It's just so nice. Marco Disaro. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. I think there's a arigato, arigato kutaimasa everyone for coming to the stream. Do I say it correctly? Anyone can speak uh, Japanese here? Please let us know. Um, uh, there you go. Yes, Christine. Uh, we don't. I'm a little confused with times. Yeah. Now this is the new streaming time for us. And happy, happy April Fool's Day. Are you going to do anything silly? Are you going to trick somebody? Have you been tricked by somebody? Let us know. And what should we do? We've done some fake videos. I'm saying. 
big in quotation mark um, to just see what just doing fake rules video or something like that oh okay okay my question was <clears throat> so is this the this is the price right the price is three steps on the uh... that's what I need all right, Thank so you. we have both uh, filled in a day. I filled in Friday, you filled in Monday. Yep. Uh, you've got four icon matches. Let me put it on mine. Yeah, let's go down. Yeah. You've got four icon matches. One, two, three, four. Yep. And I've got three icon matches. So we both get our pick of the bonuses. Yeah. So we could get the uh, week one, which is one step on the mood track. I don't foresee anyone doing that. Uh, we could get two research tokens which gives you the flexibility to draw three and discard three, uh, or you keep it for a point. Uh, you can get a wild token, which just lets you advance one of these markers. Uh, we could get a fancy train, which will be a four point swing on a train trip, uh, plus one mood. Uh, or we can take an extra walk, meaning add a fourth card to the day in question. Mm -hmm. So what would you pick, Tara? I... Because you have those options, because you match three plus. You're probably going to pick the train, do you? I'm going to... Early on, I'm going to take the okay. research, I think. I'll come back and get some train tickets later. That's my probably, plan. That probably is a good option. Um, but you can only match two and then do that. That this is the thing, right? I like to feel safe early in the game, not having to worry about stuff anymore. So, but yeah, Terrence has got a great. You know what? Just to make it different, to make different, to be different, I'm gonna do the train ticket. Bullet train ticket it is, which I can use later. Okay. Yeah, and we score later at the end of the game. Indeed. All right, round six. So this time we draw two from each deck. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. And play two and pass two. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that, Coral Lou. I'll click that later. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, Chrissy can speak Japanese. And Liko Seven say looks like a very thematic and good looking gateway game. It is indeed. Please stay tuned until the end where we will explain everything, all the scoring, um, very, very important bits, and then share our day in Japan. Chrissy, watashi wa sukoshi nihongo o hanashimasu? Sukoshi. <laughs> Very horrible Japanese pronunciations, I'm sure. David, only Japanese I learned in anime and from the old Shogun Minister. That's actually true. I watch, you used to watch a lot more anime than now. It's just less time to watch stuff and then more time to play games. Board games in particular. Raxi and Oxy might have some ideas for your comedy videos. Yeah, they might be. They might. They might not be the central of it. They might be a guest star occasionally, like in live stream. I speak little Japanese. That's awesome. Oh, is that what it means? Watashi wa sukoshi nihongo o hanashimashu. So one of my aunties from my dad's side. I have to choose this, don't I? <laughs> one of my aunties on my dad's side is Japanese. I can't remember where they live now. I think they live in America. Ooh. I want this. <clears throat> so we see there, again, you can, when you play a card, you can slide it in. Mm -hmm. The only thing you can't do is change the order of the cards that were already there. So, and uh, I will remind everyone the yellow one doesn't actually means that you're changing places. So there's only blue and pink and the yellow one is anyway. It could be Tokyo, it could be at Kyoto. Is that right? Are oh, you choose two or one? Uh, we're choosing two this time. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this could be such a good card if not for the card it would cover. Sorry, Tara. Thing I'm doing, I think that's a theme to my thing, thing to my thing. All right, I think I will do this. There. Um, I've been staying in Japan here, and then at the end of the trip, 
near the end of the tape, I'll probably start going to Kyoto. I think that's a sensible move, but who knows? I think I might do it here. Oh. This is also a good one to put it there. All right. I may regret this later. Uh, but we'll see. All right. There you go, Taryn. Taryn, research lol. <laughs> Hang on. David, I think a normal Japanese person might freak out if I could speak with the exaggerated emotions so common in anime. <laughs> I'd like to see that. That'll be fun. Taryn, okay. Uh, so I believe we've both fulfilled another day. Oh, this is only. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's only two. So I've only got a single match here, so that yep. just gives me one step on my mood track. I have two matches, so now I'm going the research track. The research token, sorry, I should say. Okay, mm -hmm. round seven, we pick up these four. Ooh. Ooh, I've seen this before. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh, look at this. These cards are amazing. Like, this is just like, I love these pictures. It's amazing. All right, I think I'm going to have to do this one for once. No, sorry, here. Once. Um, board game store in Akihabara. So there's board game stores. Okay, I'm going to... So this is always the flavor text as well here, which I'm probably going to read later. Ooh, just buy one more game. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's expensive, but I get some good stuff in there. So, okay, I'm going to do that there. All right, let's do it. Two. Um, so yeah, draw to each, draw two from each. Yeah, that's what I said. Yes, <laughs> yeah, you said draw two. Okay, then I got confused. Sorry, Tara. <laughs> okay, oh, uh. mm. I don't want this one, but this is one I can't let you have. What? Because it's all it's all about the unique uh, oh, experience. Please give me that. Are you being mean? Ooh. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Yee. I, I think it's time for research. <laughs> yep. Okay. So I draw three and then I discard three and then I do my. These are no good. Hmm. I think. So look at this Nish... Nishiki market in Kyoto. Uh, get a new outfit in Harajuku and Kinka... Kinkakuji Temple. Ooh. This is like just like this is one of the more one of the thematic games. This is like amazing game. I think um, I don't know if you have seen. We've started doing um, from this year. We started doing top five games from each of us of the month. So we've done January, we've done February, and we are yet to do March. And this is April, so we are. I think I'm gonna put this one in my list. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Indeed. Doing the research at least lets me discard this card that I really don't want you yeah. to have. So. Coral no, I haven't seen the Dice Tower April Fools video. Please spoil it for me. <laughs> I want to know what it is about now. <laughs> Aww. Um the special announcement. Buy one more game. But you can't eat. I mean buy. Just what? <laughs> Lol. Yes, love your monthly top list. Thank you, Coral. What is this? I'm gonna click right now now. Okay, I have to pick one more. Mm. Oh, it could be one more. I think I will pick. I will pick. Pick this one. Okay. Here you go, Tarrant. For you. Hello, 
Ichiban. <gasps> Ichiban, can you speak Japanese? <laughs> I was like, I just assume, sorry, um, because it's your nickname. It sounds Japanese. -y. Um, special announcement. Let's see what it is. Oh my gosh, everyone. Um, I'm, I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna click it right now while Terrence is looking for it. Where is it? Uh, uh, did I miss it? It's up there somewhere. Oh no. Okay, so I can see that the message was removed because there's a link to video on one part of the chat, but then not on the other. But I'll check it. I can't click it now because of that. Oh, actually, if I go here, I can. Yes, I can, I can click it. Make sure I turn it down. It's a special announcement. Well, Terrence. I oh, know, sorry. Hashtag team distractions working in Terrence's favor today. I oh, know, what's going on here? I can see Z's face at the start of the Dow Sound video. Uh, it is 3 minutes and 50 seconds. But I don't have the volume on. Karen, are you done? I am almost done. Now I need to decide <laughs> which, uh, which cards to give you. Uh-huh. I want that one as well. Ah. Come on, Tarrant. But I think you want it, so I'd better get rid of it. Ah, so mean. There we go. Sorry, that was time consuming. Oh no, I've, had, I've done the boo boo. I need to get a train ticket there. You need heaps of time. Okay. Um, all right, so I've completed Monday. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, now going to go for the. Uh, bullet train. So what did I complete? I would have completed something. I would have completed Saturday. Yes, I don't recall that Sia concert yeah. being there. Before. Train tickets. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just like start counting and then make sure I put it here. And I'll make sure I put it here. All right. Yeah, why did I do that? All right. <laughs> We all done mistakes that we can't. Yep. Okay, okay round nine. Mm -hmm. You gave me bad stuff, Darren. Mm. We've got this one again. Ooh, no. <laughs> oh, because you gave it back to me. Yep. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. I think I'm gonna pick this one. No, I can't do that. I finished that one. Maybe it's time for me to draw. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this to draw. Okay. Three? Okay. It's okay? Okay. Any? Uh yes, you can choose from whichever you want. Let's do two of a Japan, a Tokyo and one of Kyoto. This is good. Not that good. Oh, do I want to go to flame flea market? Do I want to get my otaku? What's otaku in Akiba? Is otaku a board game? Maybe. Because the other one that says board game store. Uh, photo sticker booth. That's always fun in Japan. Tokyo Kyoto Tower. Ooh, cat cafe. These are all amazing stuff, right? Mm. I haven't actually done a lot of. Maybe I'll do this as one. That's like expensive. Eee. This is good, but I don't have a lot of. Mm. Guys, I'm confused now. Maybe I'll do this. And then I worry about the rest later. How many do we pick? Four. Uh, we've got four, and we. Oh, okay. If you draw three, you have to discard three. Yeah. What is Terrence? I haven't even looked at what Terrence collecting. Terrence has been looking at my one. What about you? Not much. I, I know you need you're to generalize. Though. You need to generalize. 
Uh, I need to specialize enough to get mm. at least sevens and tens. Okay. I'll play that one. Mm. And that one. And give you those. And I complete Wednesday mm -hmm. with two matches. So I'm going to take a wild token. Mm. I'm not setting myself up for very many train tickets. I have not. Me. I have not set up for a good some good stuff either. Uh, like, okay, I'm gonna have to choose something. So I'm gonna choose something expensive, unfortunately. Um, and I complete that. So I'm gonna. Yeah, so I need to draw uh, this card too. All right, I'm going to get train ticket for this one, for this completed, completed shopping trip. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to discard three. And I think Taryn is collecting... Oh, yeah, I know what I should give to Taryn. Yep, here you go. Next, please. This is where it's discard. useful to have research, I think. Yeah, I want to use the research. All right, so we take this. Yep, so we are up to round 10. We just draw the two we were given. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll definitely use this. Here you go. Get three. Get three of this. Thank you very much. Maybe just go for a walk. I, I promise, I swear. I promise we will explain everything. This is only, it's not long. It's only four more rounds, including this. This is not the one I want. Mm. I will do this again. This is like, this is going to hurt me at the end, but I kind of need it. And yeah, this is not good. This is not really what I want. Nice. Yeah, <sighs> Uh, I will, however, do this one. Okay. Okay. I complete this, so it's two matching. Two matching, so what are these? Discards? Sorry, discard. Oh, no. Um, yes. You need to give me one. Yes, sorry. What are you collecting? I'll give you this one. How do you only have two left? You pick two or one? One. Oops. I will take. Ooh. Oh my gosh! What I'm gonna do? All right, this card. Yep. I give you how many? One. Oh, hang on. I already give you. You've one. already given me one. Okay, so, so this got everything. Wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Um, <laughs> so did you claim... No, I did not complete anything. You... So that did not complete anything. That did not complete. Sorry, right. I accidentally... Yeah. Okay, I round really 11. Draw one of each. Mm -hmm. And this time I could stay at Ryoka. I don't remember being um, visiting Ryoka and department store. I think really expensive. Ooh. Oh no, this is not good. This one is good to me, I think. Hmm. Yeah, neither of us has um, has taken a walk in yeah. this game. So. Yeah, I might just do that because uh, this is pretty good. You know what? I might just do this. There you go. I'm going to regret all this. I'm going to tell you later why. <laughs> um, look, so many. Oh, you, you are, oh. wow, you have a really expensive high stress trip. <laughs> I mean, just like, I, this is a geeky area. Why would I be, oh, stressed because it's expensive. Like, look, look at my options. Like, you know. Is it time for a walk? 
but I get to get this one just good right surely oh it's all the balance oh gosh you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna see what happens all right I'm finished this one I get two of these uh, same ones and I get this research token oh uh, is it even worth it yeah it's worth it okay here you go done so round 12, we pick mm -hmm. up these two and play them yep. best. Yes, I can. you can see I have to use the train ticket here. So I don't have the pink one, so I'm going to use this to get pink. Pink Kyoto. Kyoto! And I get something that at least is good for me, which is good. This is bad. Like become immersed. You have no shopping. Like how can I go to Japan and have no sh no shopping by Thursday? I'm not gonna pick that unless if I put it on top of it. Because uh, you you go shopping on the last day. That's the sense of it. You know, you've got shopping on throughout Tokyo, throughout the trip, and then uh, towards the end you'll be like, okay, how much weight do I have? How much weight do I have booked on the plane back? And then you just adjust your shopping that way. Like we just went to Bali. Parents, no comment. So sad. Uh, um, let me see. This will give me. So we picked. Uh, how many do we pick again? Just one. Just one. Okay. I think I'll pick one of these. So I can put here. I think I will pick one of these two, and I'll pick either Yasaka Shrine or Tofukuji Temple. This is Tofu in the Fukuchi Temple, you reckon? Hmm? That's a good chance. <laughs> um, mm. I give you the cards that's been um, moving hands for a while. Anyways, I think I'm going to put this one. Yeah, this is a good one for me. All right, parent. The parent wants that one. I definitely have to. Let's go to the railway museum. I think. Okay, I finished this. No, I didn't finish it. I finished. You must have finished something. Did I? I finished last time. You must have finished one this time. Ooh. Did I? I finished Tuesday, so it's the. Uh, no, I didn't. I I've put got... it there. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, you didn't yeah. necessarily. All That's right. Fine. I've only got one match, so mm -hmm. I get one mood. I've done quite poorly on the matches in this game. Compared oh, to I forgot there. to move the mood. Did you have a, a single match? Oh, that one. No, sorry. That's the only yeah, time you move it during the game. I didn't forget. All right. Um, so I pick one and I will give it to you one. Yes, and discard the rest. This is exciting. There you go, Taryn. Of course, a Kyoto <laughs> card. <laughs> <laughs> this is Hedra for sure. <laughs> it's Fugu. <laughs> All right. So the uh, the final the final one allows yeah. you to uh, you pick up the one you were given mm -hmm. and choose one from either deck. Well, yeah. You know what? I've got this. I definitely want to use it. The last time, last chance for me to use it. Um, I missed the chat. I will go back to the chat quickly. Mm -hmm. What do I need here? Ooh. This, this is would good. Be worth four. This would be worth four. Aaron just like maximizing again here. <laughs> I can I do better than that is the question. I would really need I'd really need a double icon to do better, I think. Now you probably we need to start thinking uh, we, we need to think how many train ticket we need. So I only need, I've got one, two. That's all I need, I think. Is that right, Tara? 
I once got it wrong. From feet to feet, to feet to blue to from Japan. So from Tokyo to Kyoto yep. is that one, and then from Kyoto back to Japan. I think I've got yep. all I need, so I don't need to get the matching one. Although it's good to have matching one. Ooh, look at this! Stay at Ryokan. I actually get rewarded for uh, spending expensive stuff. Right. But it doesn't match. I can get the if I match both uh, all three. Is um there's a question? Um someone just reminded Coralie just reminded that uh despite all these uh mood reducing things, mm -hmm. every time you do something unique. Yes. Thank you, Coralie. Although that all happens at the end. Yeah. So. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how your mood uh, goes through this trip. I know, I know. My question is, do I bet one point to try to get a card that will score me more than four? Mm. I think there's only very specific cards that will do that, but I'm going to take the bet. And if I lose by a point, then we'll go back and laugh about this moment. <laughs> I already laugh about this moment right now. I don't have to go back. <laughs> oh, look. Well, I found a six-point card, so I definitely... Found a five point card, so I'm definitely broken even. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Is that better? Not quite. The walking uh, the walking one is good because then it gets you to um what do you call it? It gets you to uh get extra um less stress. Yes, walking improves your stress. <laughs> improves your stress, that's the word. I might do this slide it there it's this is not going to not going to count and the three points i get three points and one per this uh oh no i won't get this sorry it's this one so two per a set of this so i have one two three four one two three four so that's eight eight and two is ten if i put here be like Two per thingy. So one, two, that's eight and three, but then that's going to cost me a lot here. So I'm probably not going to do this. I'm going to go for the safe options in this one here without mapping it too much. Tara, you have three seconds. Three, two, one, go. Thank you. <laughs> Just a fortune current. And we complete that and we discard this. Yep. All of them. Yes, and I got zero matches on my final day. Um, I've got three matches, so um, I think the best thing for me is go for a walk, and I yes, can put it on. Yes, because you end. have no, you have no other train trips scheduled, so getting a ticket would be a waste. Correct. So, um, or I can get the what do you call it? The wild, the wild one. So you get a wild thing, lets this you one. move up one step at any point during the sequence. Which is probably good if I'm like, oh no, I just shot one, and then I can use it for that. Or the walk, the walk help me with the mood. Now the walk, if I take a walk, it has to go in on the one that I can. Has to go on that uh, day, but it can be slotted anywhere within that day. Okay, so of course I'm not going to cover the higher point ones. I'm going to slot it at the top. Whether that's a good idea or not. Ooh, everyone, I'm going to take this one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now scoring. Now this is this is the thing. This is time I promise. But before that, I'll quickly look at the chat that I've missed so far. Uh, what did I miss? What did I miss, Taryn? Lots of discussion. Man. Let's give Terrence an anime name. Let's. I can't. I can wait to read the next hopefully someone as well. Uh, something about waxing the floor, which is amazing. <laughs> I would love to hear that five drip between Tokyo and Kyoto, which Japanese being famous to it, can I do it in a week? Uh, wow, you have really expensive high stress drip, yes. <laughs> That's exactly what Tara <laughs> said. Uh, there you go, Coral. Expensive high stress drip because Tara said she's not allowed to eat the whole week. We know Stella's need her food to relax. Thank you, Coral. Coral knows me well. <laughs> uh, hello, Wesson. Welcome. Once I had the peanut comic book, a friend Japanese took second last day to find a book. Wow, must be a little bit, a lot of effort. Uh, a lot. Did Kelsey the to ton bring board game to Essen? Yes, yes, Jesse. That's a bad experience, unfortunately. I still 
I still dispute it with the airline. The fact that they ignore my second baggage that I have booked. <clears throat> it's for good. Um, I don't have a lot of ability to improve my mood often. Now I'm just slightly thinking maybe I should. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. I've picked uh, Susan. All right, let's let's call. Yes. All right. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to describe our days. <laughs> People forgot to pay. Just yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's Monday, and I've gotten off the uh, off the train at uh, off the plane at Narita Airport, and I've taken the Narita Express. I forget the name into Tokyo, and uh, I'm starting my trip. I really came here for food, so I'm uh, <laughs> dining at a top restaurant. This was probably the only just looking. This is the only thing I'm doing in. Uh, mm -hmm. In Tokyo here so I probably I booked all of my uh, Kyoto trips but then this was the only day I could get in and it was just worth it so so this actual flavor text for example what does it say uh, foodies paradise more Michelin style restaurants than any other city in the world mm. but it's expensive all right so I dine at a top restaurant it is expensive so my mood goes down I started with two mood from these bonuses, mm -hmm. uh, but I advance two on the food track and get one point. So what we do here is we count these points and then we put them into the score sheet as we go along. All right, then I uh, leave the top restaurant on mm -hmm. the fancy train, which improves my mood. And I head to the Fushimi Inari Shrine with all of these uh, gateways. So I get two shrine points uh, but it's a high stress environment it's a kind of maze and I get lost and so I go back mm -hmm. on there and then I head to Pontocho uh, a narrow lane in Kyoto filled with restaurants so that gives me a third restaurant point and I have found the best spot there to eat so because I have three of these square, sh you look square at the top. sushi points yep. up to this point of the game, I get these seven points. Mm -hmm. So my card points, we ignore the trains for now. My card points, uh, one, two, six, 13 for Monday. Very good. Are we going to do all yours? And uh, then no, we... we'll, we'll go back and forth. All right. Me. Story of the trip. All right. Also the same thing, I landed at the airport. Apparently we uh, we took the same train, uh, sorry, we took the same plane um, at the, what's it called, Narita yep. airport. And then I actually choose to also go to Tokyo. Um, so I also visit a, a type of cafe, but this time it's a rescue cat cafe. Very noble of them. And while well, there, there are many types of animal cafes in Japan. Cat cafes are the most common. Some cat cafes provide ways to adopt the cats that they rescue. That's amazing. So you're not only you get food, you get cat to take home. So I get one of the food and then one of the improve my mood because all the cats and that will be two points at the end of the game. And then the next one, I went to more on Monday, went to a Monjayaki in Tsukishima and where I ate something delicious. Looks like a um, pokeball. It's a kind of runny pancake. Similar yeah, to okay. okonomiyaki. Okay, I love okonomiyaki. Um, gives me one of these and one of these. So, I will put my speciality here. So each time this moves, um, one space to the right during your trip, scores one and at the end of the game. And also do this. What I'll do, I'll just make a mark here. Just put it on here. I'll add it to when we do this scoring. That's when your objective will score. Okay. Um, that's, and then mine also scores there. So that's where we'll catch you. Your objectives? Yep. All right. Yes, so what am I up to? Oh, yeah. yeah. You've had your runny pancake. I had my runny pancake. However, the size is quite small. So I will... Go to another restaurant. This is a restaurant favorite day. So I also dined at a top restaurant. Um, I was coming there and then as Taryn was leaving. Okay, we didn't. <laughs> we should have lined that up there. I'm sure they could have accommodated a table. Too. Yes. 
Duck your or maybe it's <laughs> just maybe we did do it at the same time. It's just that it was the highlight of your day, whereas mm-hmm. I preferred the uh, the more rustic sounds and tastes of the back alley. It's probably foods. right. Tokyo is foodies paradise, which is correct, with more Michelin star restaurant than any other city in the world. Such exemplary cuisine often comes at a premium cost, but is well worth it for the connoisseur. Yes, for sure. So that gives me two of the foodie thingy. That means that's four points at the end of the game, but it lessened my mood by one. And I score this part. Because I have four, one, two, three, four, then I get three points and three of this, one, two, three, wow. which means one, two, and it moves one to five, and then reset. Now, this is where I'm in trouble. And a third one. Hmm? And a third one. That's not too bad. All right. So your points on cards for Monday, two, four, five, eight. Huh? Eight, yes. So it's 13 to eight. And now we go back to Taran for the next day, Tuesday. Back to me. So I've uh, woken up on Tuesday. I'm still in Kyoto. Mm-hmm. Um, not a lot of icons for me in this day, but a lot of uh, raw points. So I start by heading to the Kinkakuji Temple. I want sushi, yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, ramen. Sorry. Yes, there. <laughs> so this is a temple where they covered the top two layers in gold leaf, uh, but the bottom is made of wood. Gives me another temple point and three points. Then uh, anyone who's... Watch us play any train <gasps> games in here. Studio Ghibli. Ghibli. Yep. Uh, I am, of course, going to a railway museum, <laughs> which course. is the sort of thing I would do on holiday. Yep. Uh, you, would. you took me to that tram museum in uh, Ballarat as mm-hmm. well. And stood there while I learned about the trams. Uh, but there's no icons here. It's not unique. I can't go shopping there. There's no nature. There's no temples and there's no food. Mm-hmm. There's just five points for looking at trains. Um, and then I will tour the Shugakuin Villa. This is the former imperial residence with a lot of gardens around. Mm-hmm. Very serene, so my uh, mood goes up. And uh, I get a nature point. Now. The, I know what you're going to do. The objective here is to journey to the outskirts of the Shugakuin Villa. And if I've got two nature points and I've traveled at least once, then I get these eight points. So I'm going to cash in my wild now. Very good. Get my second nature point. So big raw points, 18 for me. Four. So That's a 18 lot. points. Very good. I Karen. go to 31. Very good. Are you keeping track of your objective thing? Um, I, I score basically this is. 13, and mm-hmm. this is 22 for me. So I'll okay. just score them when I uh, you haven't, score those You haven't keep track of this one. Um, we'll just add one to your blue score. Mm-hmm. We'll just add your blue number to your blue score. Oh, yeah, at the end. Okay. Yeah. What is this dot again, then? That reminds me when to add it. All right, all right, thank you. All right, so on my Tuesday, I stay in Tokyo, and I went to Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. Sorry, Taryn, why are you laughing? It's like it's history, it's government, you know. It might be there's something interesting. Um, the Japanese you are even, running You couldn't the... even take a photograph vertically. <laughs> the, so Japanese, the Japanese are running the country so well, I've got to find out what's going on there. Anyways, um, improve my mood by one. Um, is it still Tuesday, right? It's Tuesday. Yeah, yeah okay. Sorry, there's not, not much to, uh, to talk about in the government building, though, so I'll move on <laughs> to the next, uh, next day in a so Joji Temple, still in Tokyo. And so Joji Temple sits near the base of the city's iconic Tokyo Tower. The temple's main gate, Sange Datsumon, was constructed in 1622 and is the oldest wooden building in Tokyo. I did not know that, and thank you for Let's Go to Japan. Now I know. Um, and then after that, I stay. Uh, the yellow one, again, that can be either, it's a wild one, could be Tokyo or Kyoto, and I eat ramen. So somebody said ramen in the chat. Thank you very much. That's what I'm doing now. I eat ramen at the best place. Sorry, I haven't actually moved this one yet. So right. I move. Get a temple point. Get a temple point, get a good mood, and then, then again go there. Um, and then I will go and move my point again. Mm-hmm. And then I do have 
at least three. I've got five here, as you can see. And five coins plus one of these, which gives me one mood. All right, yeah, negative mood stuff is coming. I know, I know. It's just so, so Interesting scary. whether you <laughs> max out the mood track. Or not. I don't know. All right, so points for Tuesday. You've got four, three, two, and five. That is 14. Only 14, while Taryn was a whopping 18. So you go to 22. Wow, Taryn's just been um, doing well. Look, Taryn's 31. I'm only 232. Uh, two, sorry, 22. I don't know if I can catch up here. All right, Wednesday. Uh, it's it's going to be very close. Very close. All right, so, um, yeah. I'm leaving Kyoto. I have to take the Rattler overnight. It's fine, because I like trains. I'm happy to experience the train, but... Uh, Instagram gave a lot of dislikes on my train <laughs> photo, and that's why I've lost points. Like, I'm perfectly happy with the overnight okay, rattler. Okay. Yeah, as long as you're happy, don't worry what Instagram says. Instagram people says. All right, so I'm heading to the um, mm -hmm. Ginza department stores. Yes. Where I get a shopping point, and it was expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, this is, and there is a basement food food court that someone mentioned before. No. Oh. Then the I head to Mia I love Park. the basement food. Like, I remember, sorry, do you, um, you haven't been, have you? No, the strawberry in Japan, they are so sweet. I swear they put sugar in it, but they're so sweet and they're so big. Anyways, keep going. Okay. Mia Shita Park takes mm -hmm. me, uh, it's another large shopping center, but it also has a park and sporting facilities. So I get a nature point and a uh, shopping point. And then I head to Ueno Park. Uh, this is a spacious public park with a lot of visitors and cherry blossoms. I get another nature point. And then I visit the zoo and the Toshoga shrine that are there. Gives me four points, another nature point, another temple point, and a unique point. So I've got four, two, four, and four is 14 points. Again, we score the uh, trains at the end of the game. So All right. Oh, we are at the end of the game, but in a different box. My Wednesday, I stay at Tokyo. I actually, this is my shopping day. Hooray! I get a new outfit in Harajuku. So this is actually where it's famous as the center of Japanese youth culture. The main street, Takeshi Tadori, has trendy fashion boutiques, creep stands, creep, <laughs> crap stands, <laughs> and cosplay stores. That's my kind of thing, cosplay. Woo! So that is one shopping point for me. That's it, three points. There's not a lot of points there. Uh, now this is this is my spending start. So board game store in Akihabara. Come on, you know, Tokyo, Japanese game. Lots of what is that thing? Uh, oink games or lots of other Japanese games that you can't get anywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm. So I spend my money there and get one shopping point. Uh, next is I'm again staying in Tokyo. I get my otaku in Akihabara. I don't know what otaku is. I assume that's something geeky. Geek culture. Akihabara is a nexus of otaku geek. Oh, there you go. Culture in Tokyo. This bustling, colorful, colorful neighborhood is packed with stores devoted to anime, manga, and gaming. Sounds like I will need to... Like, literally, guys. This is like... This game makes me so much... I want to go so much to Japan. And I literally want to look at this card and then plan my trip from this one. So, um, yeah. So, I get two more. But I lose two, unfortunately. It looks like you're just going to stay off the negative. Yeah, for now. Um, and spend hours geeking out for shopping, which I do have. And I get three plus one per shopping. So I've got seven yep. plus two, nine. Nine plus seven. Sixteen. Thank you. Okay. A uh, question was asked, why don't I use my starting train instead of the Rattler? So the starting train, it really just counts as a train icon. Uh, you have to use it at the very start of the, the trip. Good question. And it gets you from, thematically from the airport to the um, Wherever you the want to go. Hmm. But it can count towards uh, things <laughs> like this. Cora will say, that Instagram photo must have been one of your photo took by accident while in your pocket when you squeeze into a VC train. <sighs> that was really good. Like, it's not quite the, um, the sound effect that I'm looking for, but yes. Antoni said, Tokyo Metropolitan building seems strange, but you can go up free and get some nice views. Oh, okay. Thanks for the information. 
That's I would, why, and that's why it's cheap. Yeah, I would not rule out of my way. itinerary. Well, if I'm around the area, uh, Japan, uh, Japan running the country so well, so well that they have a revolving door prime minister for a well, while. What? A revolving door prime minister? Yeah, we're used to that. <laughs> All right, Thursday. <laughs> So I'm still in Tokyo. Tokyo. I'm heading to uh, another park. Yeah. Shinjuku Gyoen mm-hmm. Park. Mm-hmm. Originally a feudal lord's, resist- uh, lord's resistance, destroyed in World War II, but reopened in 1949. Mm-hmm. So I get another nature point and I uh, calm down in here. Mm-hmm. Got a couple of nice icons. Then I want to splurge out. I'm heading to a really nice hotel mm-hmm. uh, that uh, is expensive, but it's worth a number of points. And then I'm going to uh, Japan's. Oh, Hachiko! Heading to Japan's answer to the dog on the Tucker Box oh, uh, statue. I, I swear that's the, the one with statue. that's the one with the movie with Richard Gere in it, isn't it? There are other versions of it as well, but this uh, this Japanese movie or film about this dog that was so loyal that the the owners pass away and just keep waiting at the train. And I cried so bad in that movie. Yeah. Uh, I think it's that one. Isn't famous it? dog that waited at the station every That's day for his owner, even nine years after passing. Oh, so sad. It's so mm-hmm. so loyal. Like, if you want to cry, watch that movie. I don't usually cry in movies. Now I started to build tears. But it's cheap. So yes. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thanks, sir. <laughs> but it's cheap. All right. And then I take a photo with the statue because I've been on trains twice. It's mm-hmm. at a station. Uh, I get the eight points and a unique point, uh, which is fine. So a high raw points game for me again. Mm-hmm. Uh, three and six and blah, blah, blah. That's blah, 20, blah, blah. 21. Yeah. 21 takes me to 66. Very good. So my Thursday, I moved. I took the, uh, actually, the t- took the bullet train, which improves my mood. And it gives me two points at the end of the game. And I now move to Kyoto. Let's start with Otagi Nenbutsuji Temple. Nenbutsuji Temple. So this is uh, Otagi Nenbutsugi. Oh, there you go. There's actually a, a pronunciation guide. Otagi Nenbutsuji Temple features 1,200 stone statues of Rakan, disciples of Buddha, carved mostly by amateurs. They were added during refurbishment in the 1980s. That gives me a museum point here. And that's it. And then in Kyoto again, I went to temple lodging. Certain temples in Kyoto allow visitors of any faith to spend the night and experience the austere lifestyle of Buddhist monks. I did not know, I did not know that. Thank you, game. And including vegetarian meals called Sojin Ryori. That sounds amazing. Let's uh, just remember that my equivalent card was stay at a really nice hotel. <sighs> I will improve my mood, not you. Thank <laughs> you. And the temple point. And last one for the day Thursday is Yasaka Shrine, which improved my mood. Give me one temple point. Um, That's on four, is it? I think, yeah. So one, two, three, four. Yeah. Um, so, oh, of course, the most famous festival in Japan the summertime Jion Matsuri with massive floats on display. The shrine features hundreds of lanterns lit for local businesses. That sounds amazing. So, and the point is I've got at least two. Uh, you, yes. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. So, oh, it's only one here, but like we look at this one, not mm-hmm. that one. And then I got two points per a pair of shopping and what do you call this? Food. So, so that's eight. I, unless if I unless spend. Unless you spend that. That makes it 10. So I don't know if that's going to... There's only one point. But then I get extra one point anyway if I go and do the other one. But I almost got one. Sorry. This will give me enough for this one, I think. So I better spend it now. Is that right? Um, I wasn't counting ahead. So if I... I was going to hold back my... Um, what do you call this? The wild one yeah. for this one for extra point, but then this also gave me two points, and I think I have enough to push my mood to the end. With... Oh no, not really. Yes. Okay. Am 
maybe not. You have a spare train. I have a spare train. Where did it come from? Nah. I shouldn't get the train. Anyways, I, I think... We'll still score you two points for it because you could have got the leftover. Yeah. Um, That's okay. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so I get eight points here. Ten points there. Sorry. Ten points there plus 12, 14, 17. 17, you go to 55. 55 to 66. All right, Taryn. You can, of course, score this game uh, more quickly than yes. you're doing, but this is the... Uh, <laughs> so the wild ones. Thank you, James. Course. All right, two more days. Taryn, two more day. Friday. All right, I'm uh, heading to the Meiji Jingu Shrine, uh, which is in the forest. Has spacious grounds and a lot of nature mm. in, in Tokyo, so that gives me... A nature point and a temple point. Then I'm getting on the train again. Another rattler. Oh. Back and clack. Go down to point. the Heian Shrine. Do you want to take my ticket here? No. <laughs> I can't anyway. I still and, get the points though. Even no. Um. Rules are a little unclear on that, but you can. You could have got these two for two points. Ah, anyway, sorry. So. I think you don't get the mood if you don't. Travel. But oh. I mean, this concert could be in Kyoto. You could. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, now, have I advanced these? Yes. No, I don't think I have. So I'm in another uh, nature heavy shrine. So mm -hmm. I get a point on each of those. And then I'm. Uh, I enjoyed the Shugakuen Villa so much on Tuesday. I don't feel like I uh, experienced everything, so I've gone back again on uh, Friday, get a little bit more calm, so mm -hmm. that's good. I finally uh, get score points. one of those. Yep. Another step of nature, uh, and this was my highlight of the day. Once again, I really like this villa, so I've got uh, more than enough here to get these seven points, so my raw score is 14 for Friday. Very good, Terry. Takes me to 80. My Friday, stay in Kyoto, so um, Monkey Park, ooh, look at this, for, unfortunately, it is expensive, oh, it's stressful, the monkey are naughty, so I remove my mood here and then get that point, and I've got, and then I stay at Ryokan, I think I feel like I've done that before, maybe not, I'm just drafting it before, anyways, that gives me food point, give me this one, which gives me my mood, and unfortunately, it's reduced my mood again because it's expensive at Ryokan. And I go to Philosopher's Path. It's not Philosopher's Stone, it's Philosopher's Path, which gives me more of these points um, and decrease my mood once. Okay. And I've got this. So it feels inspired by um, this. So by the unique got, experiences. By unique experience. So I have at least two, and I get four and three on this track. One, two, three. Okay, you get 15, you're up to 70. Whee! All right, we go to the final it's a ten, day. 10 different. Saturday. Oh, it's going to be important that you uh, resolve your icons from left to right mm. as well, because it might impact the... Well, Rabbit the Island. Ooh. Thank you, Mary Mama Bear. Sorry, I missed it. Okay, I'm yeah. starting my day with a tea ceremony. That gives me a food point, a unique point, and a calm point. Uh, then I'm heading to the Kyo, Kyo Mizudera Temple, another temple with uh, cherry blossoms all around. So that is a nature temple. Mm -hmm. Kicks these two up into high scores, which was what I was uh, keen for. And then I finish off with the Kyoto Imperial Palace. Uh, that is cheap. Uh, and I have enough of these. Here's my big scoring one. Two points for each pair of a nature and a Whoa. temple. So that is 14. a 14-point objective. Yes, correct. So 21 points for Saturday mm -hmm. takes me to 101. Okay. Wow, very good. My Saturday, last day. So sad. I'm going to leave Japan after this. So staying in Kyoto. And I am a, 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 I'm visiting Kokodera Temple um, with... It's a bit extensive, but it's okay. It's all worth it. It's a moss temple and home to over 120 different species of moss 
visitors may participate in religious activities such as the copying of Buddhist scriptures. So, one of these. Which these. gives you this. Thank you, Taryn. And then one of these. But then one of those. So, where do I go here? I can't go anywhere else. You are now maxed out there. Oh. Sad. That's right, you don't have enough icons to uh, do it again. And this one gives you here. Uh, watch a sumo match. Uh, it's quite expensive, however. It's, um, yeah, got my mood a little bit. But you got a unique experience. Thank you. <laughs> uh, sumo is Japan's national sport. Ooh. I remember Taran was wearing Sumo's outfit in one of my short and sweets. Well done, Taran. It was uh, 14 points because this is on, it's an eight point space, yeah. but space number seven. So, which, this one, um, and then you see concerts, and then that gets me there as well, doesn't really mean a lot, yeah. make some new Your friends. trains give you two steps there as well. Oh, thank you, Tarrant. Um, and then, oh yeah, this is like, this is my train ticket actually going back to Kyoto at the end to see a concert. So this is the wild one, can be anything, but, and because I've got a spare, Ticket, I might as well use it to get the extra points and bonus. Uh, make some new friends. I got enough of this for sure. Six and then one pair of this. So six plus nine is 15 plus four is 19. Um, plus two is Sorry. one. Six was it? Yes, thank you. All right. Oh, 21. That's big scoring for both of us. Yes. So we are up to, so I have a 10 point lead. It's mm -hmm. uh, 101 to 91. Yep. Uh, now we go to the mood scoring. I've got 20. Stella gets 20. Goes to 111. I have got five. Go to 106. Mm -hmm. Trailing for the first time. Uh, now we count our points off here. So remember, I uh, get Ooh. 13 instead of 8 mm -hmm. and 22 instead of 12. So I've got 4, no, 0, 0, 4, 13, and 22. This is why I should not use the wild ticket before and push this one instead to 8. Anyways, too late. Mm -hmm. Uh, so 4 plus 13 is 17, plus 22 is 39. That takes me to 145. Very good. Your score? Is 8. See, I can. I could have pushed this one, I could have pushed this one, but I didn't. Um, so mine is 8 for this one, mm -hmm. plus 12 for this 3. Uh, 16. Sorry, 16. Four. 16 plus 8 is... 24? 24 plus plus nine. Nine. For my special 33 takes you to 144. Mm -hmm. Now train points, I've got plus two, minus two, minus two. So I go minus two on trains to 143. I've got plus six. No, plus six on train. Yep. So what's that? And leftover research, neither of us has any, so you are the winner, <gasps> 150 to 143. That is so close! I I feel like last time I won, um, I won Yosemite, Yosemite also. Yes. This time we have the trophy. Thank you and very much. I'd like to thank... Kyoto and Tokyo for accommodating me on my trips and giving me lots of happy memories. Indeed. <laughs> and I still had a good time. Yes, thank you. And everyone, yes, I definitely have a good time playing this every time with different... You can see that there are still cards, like some of these are doubles, but there are some cards that you haven't even seen. That's just the Tokyo card and there's also Kyoto cards. Yep. And let's get... And there's uh, 18 passport cards as well, lots of different options. And please do enter the giveaway if you haven't. Mm -hmm. So this is a giveaway of pledge of the festival, thank you Coralu, festival deluxe pledge prize for one lucky winner. So you'll receive the game when the game is fulfilled. Enter the password, go to meepooluniversity.com slash giveaway. Password is sushi, all in capital. Yes. And then the form will draw very shortly. And the price is for one winner. If you're in US, Canada, UK, Europe States, Norway, Switzerland, Mission Time, 
China, Hong Kong, Japan, Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan, Australia, or New Zealand. Yes. Thank you very much. Good game, uh, even though you are on a diet. <laughs> yeah, I was hungry at some time, some of the days, just getting hungry, and then I feel up on Friday, and that's it. Uh, I thought I was seeing the Kickstarter was unlocking a fair number of extra cards. That's correct, because it's funded in um, it's been unlocking even more cards, which is amazing. We didn't even get to show you the uh, taking a walk uh, mechanism. Yes. Neither of us uh, took a walk yep. at all. Um, but yes, how that would have uh, mm -hmm. worked is we would have either got the weaker benefit, which yes. is a point and some relaxation, or we could have flipped it over. Uh, and hopefully found something nice. You can even uh, get your end of day objective mm -hmm. randomly, but that might be a silly thing to do. And Lika would be funny if a person in Japan won. That's true. <laughs> yeah. um, some of these other uh, passport cards, which I'll just sort of show you. These are these are optional to play with, but the sorts of things that uh, come into play. Zoom in. Uh, you go getter. So you start with. Uh, you're always high stress on um, on holidays, so you start with high stress. <laughs> Don't travel. Uh, but you double your first <laughs> yeah. two highlight of the day bonuses. Oh. So that's uh, the, the lower scoring ones, but if you can make them work for mm. you. Uh, this is the... Different strategy. Yeah, it's the sort of... Each of these are probably going to get you... Did I, get? I got 15 points off mine. You got nine yeah. plus whatever you got off here. Uh, thrifty. Helps, my mood helps me a lot. Uh, you really like being cheap, and so when you uh, there's nothing wrong with that. When you get this, you go up two mood instead of one. It's pretty similar to yours. There's a lot similar to yours. The planner starts with lots of extra research guidebooks. Um, spontaneous starts with the uh, three train tokens. Uh, returning visitor, so you start a little bit up on this track. Uh, resourceful during your trip, double all of your non cat bonuses when exploring highlights of the day. Well, Taryn's so saying that, I'm going to. Yep. You want to be trying to get lots of uh, bonuses like this one because mm. those get doubled. Well, Taryn's saying that, I'm going to. If you look at the screen, um, you can see that the cards that I share here, the different cards. Go, Taryn. Perfectly balanced, 14 points if you have an equal number of cards in each city. Uh, score a point for each experience track icon of which you have the most and score six for any that you're down on. So that's a, that's a one to balance against your opponents. Uh, adventurous gives you extra points when you take high stress things. Uh, start with wild tokens. Three wild tokens, that's all you get. So there must be some real value in that. I think yeah, look, if like one... Two, that's already, what, four plus four, eight points. Yep. Yeah. Happy-go-lucky. Happy go score double the uh, mood points. So lots of different things that you can do here to, uh, to score. Yeah, like as you can see here, so many things. Some of them are, as I say, double up, but yeah, this is just Tokyo, not even Kyoto. It's amazing. Anyways, uh, sorry I missed some of the comments, guys, and that's just... just Sorry, one quick question. How is solo scoring? Do you know yet? I don't know. We don't know, sorry. Is there I a... imagine solo scoring is the same, but solo drafting is mm. probably different. Yeah, probably. Um, is there a complete rule in for solo yet? This is the prototype. Sure. So please do enter the giveaway. We will I normally shortly. skip over the solo part. There you go, solo. There is, there you go. Let's put it on the camera. There you go. That's it. There you go. Uh, so you're competing against a travel agent. <laughs> you want to do better than the travel agent. Um, you, uh, the tra so you are keeping the travel agent mm -hmm. thing. They start with more stuff. Oh, yeah. So solo. Um, sorry, Rondo does solo play. Good to know. So uh, they'll still use fax machines in Japan. Wow. I think my parents still use fax machine. They are definitely age above 65, even more so. I'd really love to go. To, I think they should sell, the Japanese government should work with this game and selling this game, trying to get people to come to Japan more. 
Well, yeah, I mean, I do, I do wonder. The game is um, called Let's Go! Exclamation mark, and then to Japan. So it Ooh. makes it makes it very easy to turn it into a yes. series. Yes. So the next one would be Let's Go to Australia. Yes. Please. <laughs> Let's go to Australia. It would be amazing. I'm gonna help with the Australian stuff. These would probably, probably. end up being domestic flights, uh, Qantas or Jetstar. <laughs> 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 Which is national like, national or budget? <laughs> national or uh, budget? <laughs> um, uh, yes. And then that's it. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's have a look on the uh, and thank you everyone. Hi, can ski bums here. Hello. Uh, and again, um, hello to everybody who hasn't actually mentioned their names individually. I was going to say I might have not said anything, but I see you there, Mike. I think if it were Let's Go to Australia, instead of um, temples, it would be, like, sport. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Like the AFL, the whatever. Bad board games. I'm so happy you're doing pleasure. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see. We have how many people that are trying to give away. I want to make sure that I look at it first. We've got 138. Is that right? We're going to draw this right now. And if we pick something that is not part of the giveaway, then we'll just pick another one yes. um, straight away, as we have been doing the last few times. So let's share this. Ta -da! This is 138. What's that backpacker deal? So get rid of the Google's ad. Google's been listening to us. <laughs> That's scary. How scary is that, right? <laughs> Richard, thank you. Uh, Amanda, use fa fax machine for... Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Richard, thank you so much. Uh, visit your big red rock pet kangaroo. Avoid potions. <laughs> All right, that's it. So we are going to draw this now. And so we're stopping at 139. Okay? Very good. And as usual, 139. I have to put that. And we are going to draw. I am going to pick it this time as well. This is another game after game. Well, that's quite a lot. And the winner for this is. Six. Congratulations. Let's have a look. Let's have a look first if this is actually a uh, include the included country. Down there, somewhere in the middle. Ish, sixty is. I think Canada. Ooh. Yeah, looks valid. I see miles before. I think. I think there is. I'm gonna quickly click it. It is Miles Bryant from Canada. Yay! Yay. Congratulations, Miles Bryant, for winning a copy or a pledge of Let's Go to Japan. And thank you so much, everyone, for watching this. Hopefully, you'll come back during the week. As I say earlier, every single view, like, comments, not even subscribe. If you like, optionally subscribe. Everything would really, really help us making more videos and be, um, I don't know, YouTube algorithm, like be recognized, be recommended to other people as well that want to watch our videos. So thank you so much yeah. for that. And... Miles, please wait for our uh, email. Please check your uh, junk folder. folder as well, and we'll do that within one week so we get that going um, shortly. Yes. And that is it. Thanks to AEG for the giveaway. Yeah, AEG will send you directly when they are when the game is fulfilling. Yeah. <laughs> the game will travel miles to miles. Great. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, do we have a plan for next week? We do. Ooh. I'm not going to say it though. Okay. It's not. It's probably 60%. Oh, that's not a plan. <laughs> that's, an, that's still in the idea phase. It's an idea phase. What is that? What such thing? There's no such thing. Right? Anyways, um, hopefully you'll come back next time and hopefully you're doing something great, something fun this weekend. And I am flipping the game. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you so much, everyone, for the chat, for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.
And we are back. Thank you so much, everyone, for waiting. Congratulations, I should say, for waiting because you are about to get tortured by me. And Terrence is about to get tortured. Oh, by the way, thank you, Coralo, for helping us moderate this. And he's for the bad dad jokes. Now, we are doing Japan theme, but I don't really want to do Japan. There's not a lot, and I want to be safe. So I'm going to do a generic one. Um, although this is slightly Japan related, so there's like earthquake and thunder and everything in Japan, Terrence. I just spoiled the answer. Never mind. Next. <laughs> so the question was, what do tornadoes use to keep their balance? It's actually not really, not really spoiling it. Earthquakes and thunder. No, hurricanes is the answer. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's kind of like whatever. Next, what do you get when it rains in Paris? In Wet. Paris. What do you get mm. when it rains? In pray. Wet. No. Wet. No. It's wet pronounced. That's good. <laughs> Coral, that's right. T T T. Parent torture time. Hmm? Um. Oh, Rexy has a gift from Bali. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a kimono for the wizard. Oh, when it rains in Paris. I fall. An Eiffel shower. No, no, but it's good. That's actually good. I Eiffel I, shower. I thought I had it there. Oh, I, I, I give you that as well. Yay. But the answer is French poodles. <laughs> you like your answer better. Mine is better. Yeah, okay, fine. All right, next. What do you do when you are caught outside in a thunderstorm? Thunderstorm. What do you do when you're caught outside in a thunderstorm? I feel like get wet is once again not, not the correct answer. Not. <laughs> you get cold and feel Eiffel. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Although it's not the answer, you get that. Try in Tokyo. I don't know. There's not enough setup for that joke. I uh, know. The answer is hail a cab. No? It's... Okay, last one. Your thumb went over to the and then you decided not to. Um. <laughs> Sorry. What There's no way it's that good. Yeah. No. <laughs> what did the mummy elephant say to her baby? Dance, lol. <laughs> That's actually true. That's just the right answer, actually. Like, if life give you lemon, you make lemonade. If it started to rain in thunderstorm, you dance in the rain. It's one of those in the in a tourist yeah. shop, the, the a thing like a what do you call it? A thing, a plaque, uh, a motiv detail, motivational, motivational uh, quote. Yes. Uh, but as for the elephant thing, I don't know. Again, not enough setup. I it, know. So, uh, really get anywhere the, answer, uh, the question was what did the mummy elephant say to her baby answer is in what context can you give a context for this? i love you a ton i love you a ton it's so bad and thanks for listening everybody bye for now